women's bantamweight matchup between Ronda Rousey and Sarah McMahon. Well, drillers make killers, and nobody works her takedowns harder than this young woman. She has become a force in this division, and even though the opposition oftentimes knows what's coming, no one's able to stop that shot. Nobody's able to stop that takedown attempt. No one's able to stop that single leg. She said in the fighter meetings, I have drilled that takedown 5,000 times. Amazing. Over and over, I hit a single leg. Every day of the week, I hit at least 30 single legs. I'm like, well, is wrestling practice every day? She goes, no. I just want to make sure that I have a skill that is so dominant that no matter how much you practice it, you are not practicing it enough to stop me from taking you down with it. It is truly crazy to watch her approach to getting that single leg off. And her ability to get her opponents off balance in a mixed martial arts setting, as special as anybody in the sport right now. We'll see how it goes for her here tonight. All right, here she is, big time feel. No surprise there, the UFC Hall of Famer and former women's bantamweight champion, the great rowdy Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey is a box office hit. Every time her name sits the top of the marquee, the stars come out. Yes. From her UFC debut with the quick submissions to Jean LaBelle standing next to the octagon with the timer. Everything was always a spectacle, and Ronda had the skills to back it up. I remember being at weddings and bar mitzvahs back in 2011, getting texts from guys like Sean Shelby. Dude, you got to see what Ronda Rousey just did, and it didn't take her long to enter the mainstream, successfully defended the title several times. Ronda Rousey back and perhaps with a point to prove here tonight. And here is tonight's tale of the tape. Rousey is 28. McMahon is 39. Rousey is one inch taller. She will have a two inch reach advantage. All right, now to get us started with the introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a wrestler holding a professional record of 13 wins, six losses, and one no contest. She stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Gaffney, South Carolina, Sarah McMahon! And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a judo fighter holding a professional record of 12 wins, two losses. She stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Venice Beach, California, presenting the former UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World, Rowdy Ronda Rousey! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? Well, you hate to call these women specialists, but one of them, of course, a decorated Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. The other really plies her trade as a grappler. Any chance we see some striking in this matchup? Tonight? I mean, to start, to start. But ultimately, they will go to what got them here. And that's grappling for this young lady, Jiu-Jitsu for her opponent. They both need to be in the areas that they are most comfortable if they want to get their hand raised after long training camps. Good punch, man. McMahon gets the tie clinch here. Left hand punch in the clinch. Oh, yeah, right hand. Well, Rousey's got the clinch here in the early go. Oh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by McMahon. All right, so the fighters are in the clinch again, DC. I get tired just watching these situations. It's exhausting. This is a position where you are constantly draining at the gas tank of your opponent. Rousey gets in the clinch yet again. Attempting an arm ball here.
Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, she gives up her back here, DC, so she's got a lot of work to do now. What do you do, tuck the chin, hand fight? You've got to tuck the chin. You've got to bring both hands to the hands, because as your chin is going down, your opponent's going to be attacking your neck. Two hands on one, force it down, build your face, try to get back to your feet, and if worse comes to worse, give up the mount. Right. Because the mount is better than having this fighter on your back. Nothing fun about it. We'll see if she can escape here. Oh, her ground and pound is on point here. She's made this a focus going in to make these strikes count. Certainly doing that tonight. She's making each and every one of them count. Doing a very, very good job of landing shots, landing them in combination, and making them all matter. Attack an arm bar. She was long on grappling experience coming into the UFC, and you see her chops here. Just beautiful when it comes to the transition. It's very difficult to keep up with her on the ground. All right, she's in full guard here, DC, but you know she passes as well as anybody in this division. Oh, man, when she gets to the ground, she has an amazing ability to just be advancing or thinking advancement every single time, but her opponent has a great ability and a great sense of anticipation that when you try to go, she's able to get back to her feet, escape, and get to where she's comfortable. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by McMahon. Rousey's back in half court. Lands the ground and pound strike. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily, and it's really a sight to behold. You can tell that she's been a lifetime developing the skill with the way that she's able to move with so little effort on the match. All right, full guard now, DC. She's on the bottom. What is she trying to do? Well, she's got to throw up some mission. Well, Rousey's looking to lock up an arm bar here. to her feet. That was the case. Nice strike. Oh! Now goes in and secures the takedown. Well, Rousey's got the full mount. particularly when it comes to her offensive wrestling. She's evolving, right? She's gotten better. She did not have this skill set before. Now you watch her and she looks like an Olympian. She looks like a girl that can wrestle at the highest levels. She scored so many takedowns in that round. Her wrestling coach must be very proud. All right, well, she made the takedown a thing of beauty in that first round. We'll see if she can pick up where she left off. And she has to, because if she is forced to stand here, she's going to have a very difficult long fight. When she is able to secure takedowns, whether it's a high crotch, whether it's a single, or even from the clinch, she's able to get takedowns in so many different ways. They all lead to her being in a dominant position where she's comfortable. Rousey gets caught with that punch. Another clinch position. Her striking has ever looked better, DC, finding the range with relative ease here tonight. She's doing a great job of timing everything. She is seeing everything out there. Lands a big elbow there. Oh, that was a really nice takedown. Well, she did not miss a single grappling practice during this training camp, and 
Here's your evidence. Outstanding movement on the ground. She looks like a master of grappling with the great movement that she's showing on the ground. Right to side control, yep. Well, Rousey's trying for a Kimura here. Man, she is just non-stop on the ground, moving in all the right directions. Another nice transition by her there. She's moving. Nice guillotine to tip here. Oh, nice guillotine there. Oh, man, that was slick. Oh, and with conviction, she moves right into half guard. Without much effort, she was able to pass from her full guard right in the half guard. Well, Rousey's has got full mount now. Three minutes to go in round two. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Ronda Rousey. Well, you gotta try to stay busy off of your back. She's doing it here. Nice punch. Continues to apply pressure here at half guard. Lands the right hand. Rousey's got the full mount. Oh, she's going for a submission attempt now. from top position by Rousey. How good is her movement here on the ground, right? Shades of Ray Borg just transitioning so beautifully. Yeah, she's so good at transitions and movement. Her ability is unmatched. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Ronda Rousey. All right, full guard now, DC. And just because she has the top position does not mean she is not in imminent danger. Oh, she's in danger at all moments whenever she's in the full guard because they have so many different submission attempts that they can throw up at you. So she needs to pass. By passing the half guard, already eliminates a vast majority of those submissions. Move the half guard, then continue to try to advance to either get off great ground and pound or just positional advantages in the ground. Well, Rousey's back in half guard, very comfortable here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial. Well, Rousey's now trying for the Kimura. experience coming into the UFC and you see her chops here just beautiful when it comes to the transition it's very difficult to keep up with her on the ground oh man that left side is getting beat up now look at the redness there Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It, it's really a sight to behold. You can tell that she's been a lifetime developing the skill with the way that she's able to move with so little effort on the mat. Well, she did not miss a single grappling practice during this training camp, and here's your evidence. Outstanding movement on the ground. She looks like a master of grappling with the great movement that she's showing on the ground. Oh, nice job by her there to land yet another takedown. I got to think at Gilroy High School Wrestling Practice oh. next week, they're going to be watching this film. I mean, we will show it. I will pull out the projector, put it up on the wall, and say this is how you secure takedowns in a big environment. The state tournament has nothing on what this young lady's going through. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean... You would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills. Are you ready? Unbelievable strike. You ready? Third round underway. Oh, how is she standing? Brutal knee to the body. 
So now she engages in the tie clinch. And of course, if you're fighting hand. There's double leg shot. Oh, massive slam. That'll change the complexion of this one. Man, she is just nonstop on the ground, moving in all the right directions. Another nice transition by her there. She's moving a lot, but every movement has purpose. In full guard now, DC, and I know when you're in this, Rousey's looking for an arm bar here. Nicely done. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, and with conviction, she moves right into half guard. Without much effort, she was able to pass from her full guard right into half guard. How good is her movement here on the ground, right? Shades of Ray Borg just transitioning so beautifully. Yeah, she's so good at transitions and movements. Her ability is unmatched. While her opponent is squirming, and this might be the beginning of the end, the grounded pound strikes continue to land at will. She's landing it over and over again. She needs to make sure that when she's chasing the finish, she doesn't get excited and lose the position. Well, you gotta stay busy from the bottom position. Can't falter here. She's doing a nice job. Oh, how about that reversal? Oh, going for the arm bar now. That might be tight. And attack an arm bar. Play there as she gets back to her feet. Another clinch position. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pull it down on your head, land the clinch after clinch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you'd want to see from her here. She's trying to keep the judges out of it. Really lighten her up now. Nice punch there by Ronda Rousey. Right back in the clinch. Look for the back hand. She's doing that because you're in the commentator's yeah. booth tonight, but you got to appreciate that effort. Call me entertained. Anytime I get to see something like that, I applaud it. Hats off to you, young lady. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. McMahon's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Oh, beautiful job by her to raise that knee and ultimately win. So fast and really understanding what type of space she needs to land that knee. Good series of strikes by her there. She is staying wicked busy tonight. Very busy, but also super accurate. She is on point. Well, she missed with that right hand. DC, and now her opponent may be seeing stars at this point. Her opponent's seeing stars. Her opponent's hurt. She has to really get out of double leg shot. Oh, how about the slam there? That one cannot feel good. All right, so her ground control is outstanding. Half guard is when she's at her most dangerous. Yeah, she's at her most dangerous when she has the half guard because she's so brutal with the grounded power. How good is her arm ball? We'll see if she can set it up here. Attacking armbar. <laughs> Nicely done. Oh, she connected with that right hand, DC. She's so fast when she throws it, there is no tell as to when that right hand is coming. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Rouse. Oh, pretty good job there posturing up and landing with the ground and pound. She has been very efficient in this situation tonight. Very efficient and very accurate. Hats off to her. Oh, when you get a bad spot on the ground and you want to reverse it, that's what you need to do. Master class in changing position. Unreal to see. All right, full guard here if you're the bottom fighter. Trying to prevent the half guard, I would assume. Yes, absolutely. Trying to keep her in full guard, throw up some submissions to get back to your feet. 
All right, so the fighters go the distance. Pretty competitive fight, but certainly there was a striking advantage, and it was hers. The advantage belonged to her. And you knew the longer she would be able to keep this fight upright, the better the chances were that she was going to get the victory. This fight never hit the ground, and she used that strike to win a pretty easy decision. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest for 9-28. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Browning Ronda Rousey! All right, so she finally cracks a smile there. She gets her hand raised by unanimous decision, and certainly at times looked like maybe the finish would materialize. It didn't. Nonetheless, she gets a W, and that's really all that matters at the end of the day. If you were waiting for that smile, it wasn't going to happen until the fight was over. Now she can relax.